I quoted a, doc, a letter that the Oceanian bishops wrote in 1994 for the International Year of the Family, which said that when families are struggling and in difficulty, they need friends. So my appeal was that when those situations in family, which does cause them difficulty and tension and stress and there's woundedness, that the church needs to be there to be friendly, to support them, to walk with them in their journey of life, to offer them a message of hope. And I've continued to say that whatever we do in the Synod, um, we really have to produce a document at the end which is inspiring, which gives hope, so that people can see, because they do appreciate when the church is walking with them and doing something for them um, and, and helping them in their life. So just the, for the church to be a friend to people. Yeah, the change in, the, in this year is, I think, is very helpful in the sense that the small groups are meeting more regularly. Just the opportunity to discuss, debate, to talk with one another about some of the interventions that have been made, rather than listening endlessly to, to interventions, which in the, in the long run, because they're in so many different languages, you get confused as to who said what and what's been said. So this has been a, a, an opportunity, which I think has really been appreciated for people in their own language groups to, to debate and, and reflect on what has been said. I believe there are much more open and, and honest discussions because of what the Holy Father said last year and this year. He's given people the opportunity and I think his his example, it's, it's very clear that he totally trusts in the work of the Holy Spirit and expects us to do the same. Um, we don't know what's going to come out of it, but at least it is giving the opportunity for people to talk openly, honestly and not to be afraid, even though we don't know what's going to happen.